Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Masters Field for the charity series, the 10th series of the year, final series of the year in the regular season. A lot on the line for both these teams. What are you thinking, Caleb? This is a huge series, and I'm yeah, excited. I'm excited to be back here. We had a pretty amazing series, amazing event here last year. But this time, not only do we have the NWL series going on, but we got the charity event. Um, just super excited to kind of help out in the community and start making a difference. So I'm just excited to see what happens today. We got some people showing up, got some food, got yep. the pizza, hoping that it's actually going to be cheese pizza. Hopefully. Couldn't tell based on the order that I made online, but, you know, fingers crossed. Yep. But, you know, just excited for this event, excited to see what happens today. And whatever happens, they're going to make the playoffs because my team didn't and four out of five teams make the playoffs. So. Yep. Good for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is going to be an ins exciting series. Like I said, um, we're raising money for the Center for Youth, obviously. Uh, great cause. I think this is a, the first time where we've really been able to use our platform to kind of do something good yeah. for the community, which is su such a big step for us. And um, only looking to do uh, more of this in the future. Let's get to the interviews and we'll get to the games. Now I'm here with Gavining. This is a guy, fourth year in NWL, had a resurgence on the mound. Um, a renaissance, if you will. I know I've been telling you that a lot. Uh, you pitched really well against the Pioneers and the Knuckleballs. Um, this is your first time at Masters Field. How are you going to continue that momentum trying to get the uh, three seed and avoid playing the Pioneers in the playoffs? Obviously, we dropped two to the Pioneers, which was quite unfortunate. Uh, did our best in that one, took one off you guys. Yep. Just got to try to do our best here and yeah. Ball get the third watch. seed. Yeah. yeah, for sure. We got this. And um, rumor is you're going to be on the mound for game one. Jeremy has a lot of confidence in you. Uh, how do you feel about that? I'm ready. We're ready to go. All right. Hey, good luck to you, Gavin. You're dripped out in the suit, clearly. Uh, great seeing you. Let's go see what the two cans are up to. Ewan McCormick. I have don't really know this kid personally. From what I know, he's a very dedicated man, loves the game. This is a huge series for you. Um, obviously, you live in Penfield, right, do you? Yep. Yep. Biked so, here. Yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You literally biked here. Very close. I'm, I'm sure this is very uh, personal to you, very personal series. Never been here. Um, but how, how are you feeling, man? How are you feeling? Feeling great. Um, uh, 44 has been really solid recently. Yeah. We got a new kid who looks very good, very solid on the mound. Yeah. Nice blonde hair looking nice. Uh, and I'm just ready for the series. I think we're going to... Execute, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. And um, you pitched great against the knuckleballs in your last appearance. I think you're one of the youngest guys in this league. Um, will we be seeing you on the mound at all? Do you know? Yes, you will. Game two, coming on. Really? If it's, we win game one. If you Okay, so there's a little bit of planage there, but um, that, that's the plan. All right, good luck to you, man. Um, and, yeah, let's get, let's get to the games, folks. It's going to be a big-time series. Landon Belliard, the captain, the rookie captain, getting the start on the mound. Jack Naparelski with the GoPro mounted to his head. The rookie as well will be digging in. We got Jeremy Kuhn over there in the in the bullpen area there. Um, we're gonna get started soon, as soon as Griffin hurries his little butt up. Pitch. He's gonna pop that one. Crave makes the catch though. Very promising contact for Naparelski though. He was down 0-2 in that count. Found a way to put it into play. Did not help though. Pitch. Oh, yeah. gonna pop that one. Let's go, Larry! Three balls, two strikes. Tips it back into the zone. Strike three. Landon ice cold. 
to start off this game. He's gonna ground that one. What a snack from Landon. He's gonna be safe. I'll call, all right, calling him out. I could not tell from that angle. He's gonna be out. Folks, Gavin Ng starting here in game one. He is had a resurgence on the mound. He pitched very well against the Pioneers and the Knuckleballs. Looking to retain that form here against the Toucans. The pitch. Leaves it. That'll walk Zach Crabe, Landon. Belliard will now step in. Almost. Got him going around. Strike three. He is out. The 2 1 pitch coming from Gavin Ng. He's going to smack that one. That'll be a single at least. He's going to hold up there. Runners will be on first and second for Jack Rutledge. Coming up in his first AB in NWL. The undrafted rookie free agent will be now stepping in. Hits him. Full count pitch from Gavin. He's going to ground that one. Jeremy will get him out at second. Crave's going to hold up at third. Runners will be on the corners with two down. Nice play from Jeremy. Four balls, one strike. The pitch from Gavin way outside. Gavin, don't he doesn't know what happened on that one. It's going to walk Ewan, though. Ewan loves it. Bases are loaded for Zach Crave, a very dangerous hitter. He's going to ground that one. Fair ball. Knapp can't make the play. A run will score. A big error from Jack Naprowski costs them a run. And the Toucans in the first inning of the first game get on the board. Score is 1-0. Bases are still loaded. That's a big time error from Jack Naprowski. They could have gotten out of the inning. Instead, the score is 1-0. There are still two down. He's going to ground that one. Miscommunication again. Everyone's going to be safe. Another infield single from Landon. Scores another run. Right. He's going to pop that one up. Deep. Naparowski makes the play, though. They get out of the inning, but not before the two can score two runs. Put up a two spot in the first. Skyliners are going to have to get those back. Let's see what happens. I, I, I. Land and Belly are digging in. He's gonna crush that one. Goodbye. Jack Nabrowski makes up for that error. And he hits a bomb solo shot. Gets the Skyliners on the board. You have a feeling this is gonna be a good series. Wow. First pitch, he smacks it into left field. Gets the Skyliners on the board. That's a big time play. Makes up for that error. And the score will be 2-1, still two cans. Oh. He's gonna oh. that one. Yeah. 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 Dirt. <laughs> Pitch from Landon. Next zone. Pitch. He's going to pop that one. And that's going to be a single. Jeremy thinks about stretching. He's going to hold. He's going to hold there at one. Skyliners are starting to see it here. As now Jack Naprielski is back in the batter's box. He hit a home run his last AB. Two strikes on Naprielski. Gets him on strike three. Great drop ball from Landon. It's going to be two down. No hat for Gavin. Full count pitch from Landon. With the tongue out. It's going to miss in. It's going to walk Gavin Ng. Runners will be on first and second for Jeremy Kuhn, who got a single his last time up. Pitch to Jeremy. Grounds it. Fair ball. Landon slips. He misses him on the peg. Overthrown and Jack will score. Runners have to hold it second and third. The game is tied to a piece. Grounds it up the middle. Landon slips. I think he would have had him at first if he didn't slip. Either way, Jack's going to be now stepping into the plate with two runners in scoring position and a tie ball game. He's going to ground that one. Fair ball. He's going to miss him. That's going to be out of play. 
That's out of play. That's out of play. He scores on that. Jeremy scores. Knapp stays at second. Score's going to be 4-2 Skyliners. Pure athleticism from Jeremy. Diving into third, avoiding the peg. Score's going to be 4-2 now. Skyliners are pouring it on in the second inning. Pitch. Go swinging. Tipped the zone anyway. Great pitch from Landon, but not before. The Skyliners score four in this second inning. Rutledge's only A-B today was a fielder's choice, which advanced the runner to third. Pitch here from Gavin. He's going to smack that one up. Jack at the warning track makes the catch. Rutledge almost had his first career homer. It was just short, though. Good swing from the kid, but there's going to be one down. Three balls, two strikes. Pitch from Gavin. He's going to ground that one. That's going to be a single for you in. He's on first base. On base machine here, he walked in his first AB, got a hit in his second. 1,000 on base percentage in this first game. He's gonna crush that one to the left side. Jack will. Safe is the call. Safe is the call. Folks, after an official review, he's going to be called out at second base. Tied. It was tied, and Ty goes to the fielder. He's going to be called out. The pitch from Gavin. He's going to ground that. That's going to be a fair ball. Single all day for Landon Belliard. You're going to see a lot more singles. That would have been a foul ball at the Plains. That's fair here in Masters Field. Runners will now be on first and second for Matt Sabensky. Pitch from Gavin. He's going to pop that one up. Fair ball, it lands in play. A very interesting single from Matt there. You're gonna see a lot of those. And now the bases are loaded with two down for Jack Rutledge. Rutledge trying to drive in a few runners here. Definitely the biggest AB of his young career. It's gonna be a talk over here on the mound. The hitters count pitch. Gavin taking his time. Will miss up. That'll walk in a run for the two cans. Score is going to be 4 3 now. And now Ewan McCormick, another very disciplined hitter, steps in. He's gotten on base both times this game. The 1 1. He's going to ground that one. Fair ball over the base. That'll score a run, and the game is going to be tied. Big time single from Ewan McCormick. Another one. This time drives in a run. He's going to hit him. The slider misses in. That'll score another run. It's going to be 5-4 Toucans now. Very similar to the Skyliners Sweats game one, where these teams are just going back and forth. Seems to be the case here. He's going to smack that up the middle. Two runs should score. Matt's going home. Crabe's going home. He'll score. Landon's going two, and he's going to be in there. A bases clearing double for Landon Belliard. Drives three in. Wow. He's going to crush that one into the air. Goodbye, home run. Matt Sabinski crushed that one. Goodbye, bomb. Two run shot for Sabinski. Makes it now 10 to 4. We are seeing a lot of offense here. Big time from the two cans. All these guys are insane hitters. This is not an easy out, and this is not an easy team to face. And they're proving it here. Go, ball! Let's go! They giving the ball to Jack? They're giving the ball to Jack Napier. How many warm-ups do you want? A lot. All right, you get five. Grounds it into play. 
Jack will get him out on the peg. Nice play. And now Zach Crabe will be entering the game on the mound. They're going to be putting him in relief for Landon. Interesting decision here. Now Zach Crabe on the mound. I spoke a lot about this guy's pitching ability in the draft video. We'll see if it pays off here. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch from Crabe. Goes swinging on the slider. Two strikes on Naparowski. Go swinging. Strike three. And there's going to be two down, Gavining the last hope in game one for Skyliner Nation. Four balls, no strikes. Pitch from Crave. Misses in. Skyliners stay alive in game one with a Gavining walk. And Jeremy Kuhn will now step up to the plate. They got a six-run cushion here. Jeremy trying to do some damage in that department. He's going to smack that one. That's going to be a single Gavin going to third. He's going to be held up. Jeremy going to second. He's in there with a double. Oh, he misses the base, but he's safe. Jeremy jumped over, ran the base. Gets in there with a double, though, and there will be runners in scoring position for Jack Naprowski. Still two down. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch to Naprowski. Go swinging, strike three. Crane closes out the game, and the Toucans win game one. Final score of 10 4. Big, big home runs from both sides. Lots of offense. Wins the Toucans game one. All right, folks, game two's getting up and rolling here. Jack Naprowski's taking the hill. Connor Carey is now at the field, and Gavining's going to be on the bench for this game. Oh, yeah. Smacks that one off the wall. It's going to hold there. That's going to be a single for Zach Crave. Full count pitch. Leaves it. That'll walk him. Pitch from Jack. Off-speed piece. Grounded to Connor Carey. He makes the play. He's out at third. What a play from Connor there. Gets him out at third. There's going to be runners on first and second for Jack Rutledge. Pitch. Hits the zone. Strike three. Nice pitch from Naparowski. Gets Rutledge down. There's going to be two down. And that's going to walk you and McCormick. Bases will be loaded with two down. Top of the order now for Zach. 4 0 from Naparowski. And he leaves it. Couldn't find the plate in that AB. And now Jeremy Kuhn will be entering the game. Jeremy Kuhn will be entering the game now. This is his first appearance on the mound today. Pitch from Jeremy. Go swinging, strike three. They get out of the inning. They do get out of the inning, but not before the two cans put on a run. We'll see how the Skyliners will respond. Jack Rutledge getting the game to start. Um, from what I've heard from Landon, they're going to be uh, putting a lot of guys in this game. So, he's getting the start here. We'll see how he does. Go swinging, ugly swing from Naparowski. Strike three. Pitch. Just nicks the zone. Great pitch from Rutledge. Gavin <laughs> can't believe it. He's staring at himself. He just, he doesn't even know what to say. That's a tough A-B. So good ground that one up the middle. He will flip and he's gonna be safe. Connor Carey with an infield single. He's safe all day on that. Rain's starting to come down a little here. It's gonna pop that one up. Right to Rutledge. It's gonna get out of the inning. Go swinging, strike three. Beautiful pitch. Go swinging, strike three. Jeremy Kuhn working through these batters efficiently. Smacks that one. Goodbye, Bob. Zach Craven to the trees. Killed that ball. Score's going to be 2-0, two nothing, two games. Demolished. That would have gone over that big wall over there and left. It went to the side of it, though. Two cans. Sneaky good hitting core. Sneaky good hitting core.
Two strikes on Landon. Pitch from Jeremy. Drop ball, strike three. Ewan McCormick will now be entering the game. Jack Rutledge has been subbed out of the game, pitching and batting. He's going to take a few warm-ups. Toucan's um, doing an interesting uh, science experiment this game, <laughs> pitching quite a few guys. <laughs> Grounds it up the middle. That's going to be a fair ball, just barely. He's going to be safe. Landon keeps that in play. Naparowski's going to be on first with a single. Four balls, one strike. Misses inside. Runners will now be on first and second for Connor Carey. Four balls, one strike. It's going to miss. Connor Carey will walk to first. Bases are loaded for Jeremy Kuhn in the big time spot. Pitch coming from Ewan. Just misses in. That'll walk and a run. Score's going to be 2-1. They're making a call to the bullpen here. Will Zach Craig be entering the game? Yes, he will. You unload the bases. That's a tough outing for the kid. He's going to ground that one. He's going to step on third. He's going to be out, but a run will score. Naprowski drives in a run, makes it a tie ball game. Full count pitch from Craig. Will walk him. Falls down on the mound. Bases will be loaded. Pitch. Tips it back into the zone. Strike three. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch from Crane. Gonna ground the slider. Miscommunicate. Oh, close call. Gonna call him out though. I think he just got him. They get out of the inning with two runs damage. Game is tied 2-2. Jeremy Kuhn's gonna be back on the mound. It's the zone. Strike three from Jeremy. Ewan trying to work the count here. Misses. It's going to work a walk. Go swinging. Jeremy taking his time. The pitch. Go swinging on the fastball. Jeremy likes it. He likes it a lot. The Skyliner's got a chance to walk it off in the bottom half of the third. Pitch. Go swinging on that inside screwball. Strike three. Now Gavin Ng. All it takes is one swing of the bat. Big time pitch from Crave. Full count. Will just miss. Gavin swung it two pitches outside the zone. He learned his lesson and walks. He's down 0-2 in that count. Runner on first with one down for Connor Carey. Smacks that one. He will be safe at second. Gavin's going three. He's going to hold. Runners on the corners for none other than Jeremy Kuhn. This is a huge spot. Oh my goodness. Big time. There is one down. Runners on the corners for Jeremy Kuhn. The Skyliners looking to break their losing streak here. None other than Jeremy Kuhn digs in. Walk off opportunity. Gavining on third, 45 feet away. The pitch. Swings at that screwball. He's gonna ground it. Landon going home, and he's out. He's out going home. Dead ball, dead ball. No, no, runners will stay on first and second. Gavin Ng just a little slow going home. And Gavin Ng is frustrated with himself. Jack Naparowski still has a walk-off opportunity here though. Score is 2-2, runners on first and second with two down. Pitch, grounds it, fair ball. That's gonna stay. Bases will be loaded for Gavin Ng. Gavin Ng. Gavin Ng, fourth year in, his league, in this league. One of the biggest moments of his career. Can he make up for that critical base running error earlier in the inning? We will see. A walk will win it. A single will win it. Any way on base will win it. The 4-0 pitch from Crabe. Base is loaded. Fastball misses up. And the Skyliners win game two. It was not easy. Jeremy Kuhn is smiling and happy, though. And the Skyliners get a game two victory by a score of 3-2. to two. 
and they're now sitting a little bit better than they were before. They get rid of that losing streak, and we're gonna have a rubber match in game three. Winner is most likely gonna get the three seed. The winner of this game wins the series and most likely gets the three seed going into the playoffs. Pitch. Tips it back into the zone. Strike three. And folks, Thomas O'Reilly digging in for his first at-bat of the day. Still searching for his first career hit. Swings and misses. Tom O'Reilly down on strikes. Pitch. Swings and misses, strike three. Quick inning from Landon there. One, two, three, all strikeouts. Connor Carey getting the start in game three. He's gonna hit the zone. 72 over the limit. Pitch from Connor. He's gonna smack that one along the left side. Thomas will be safe, throws it out of play, and he will get second base on that throw. He's gonna ground that one up the middle. Error from Connor Carey. We'll hold him at third. Runners on the corners with nobody out. <laughs> oh no, we got a streaker on the field. We got a streaker on the field. Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to take care of that. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Pitch from Connor. Inside. That'll walk him. Bases will be loaded. And Captain Jeremy Kuhn finally coming into the game. I once again don't know what he was thinking at all. Swings and misses. Strike three on Ewan McCormick. The full count. Two strike pitch. Will hit. Two strikes from Jeremy. Can he get out of the jam? It's grounded. No play will be made. An infield single for Landon Belliard gets him on the board. Big time single from the kid. He had two strikes on him. I thought he was going to get out of the jam. He did not. 1-0 ball game. Pitch. Go swinging. That's going to be strike three. He's out of the inning. <laughs> He's trying his best. He's gonna crush that one! Gone! Over the short porch! Connor Carey called it! He said he was trying to hit a homer, and he did! Jeremy Kuhn gets the Skyliners on the board. The first hit of the game. Call back to last year on that shot. And the score is going to be one apiece. Gonna ground that one. Landon will not make it in time. He's gonna be safe at first. Infield single from Jack Naparalski. And now they're starting to see it. Pitch to Thomas O'Reilly. Hits the zone. Nasty pitch from Landon. Gets him down there. Pitch. Swings on that slider. Strike three. Two strikes on Jeremy. The pitch from Landon. Go swing. Strike three. I'm not a great pitch. Gonna crush that one off the wall. Ewan would have had a homer at the Plains most likely, but uh, that one stays in the yard. That'll be a long single for the kid. Three balls, two strikes. Swings and misses on the drop ball. Nice pitch from Jeremy. Pops that up into the air. Connor makes the catch. Jumped for that one. Made the catch, though. There's going to be two down in this inning. 
He's gonna ground that one along the left side. No play will be made. Landon overruns, and he's gonna be out. Wow, Landon overran second. Connor Gold Glove out there. And they get out of the inning. That's three outs. Skyliners will now bat in the top of the third. Naparowski is leading off. Oh. That's going to walk Jack Naparowski. He will be on first in the top of the third. Tom O'Reilly now to the plate. He's 0 for 2 this game. We got two strikes on O'Reilly. He's going to hit that one in play. He will not make the play. Naparowski's going to third. Tom will be on first. That's going to be an error. No, he does not score. What? Hmm? We got two strikes on O'Reilly. He's going to hit that one in play. He will not make the play. Naparowski's going to third. Tom will be on first. That's going to be an error. No, he does not score. After review, Jack Naprowski scores. There was nothing um, hindering him from scoring there. The ball was in play. Uh, Tom O'Reilly goes back to first, though, because the ball was not out of play. He will score on that, though. He's going to crush that one. That's going to be in center. O'Reilly holds a second. Connor carry on with a single, and there's still nobody out for Jeremy Kuhn. He's going to crush that one. Goodbye, Homer! Jeremy Kuhn, second of the game! Three-run blast! And that now makes it a 5-1 ball game. My goodness. Wow. Jeremy Kuhn just made it 5-1 on that one. Three-run blast. And they have a big-time lead. And they're making the move. They're putting... Zach Crabe into the game. Swings and misses. Pitch from Crabe. Hits into play. Oh, he's safe. Naprowski's going to third. He's going home. And he's safe. Oh, my goodness. Napper right in the bases. Connor Carey gets second on that. That's an error. That's an error all day. Pitch to Jeremy. Swings and misses. Waves at that one. Strike three. There's going to be two down. Two strikes. Hits the zone. Strike three. Cream gets out of the inning. And now Jeremy Coon's going to try to close it out and win the Skyliners this third game. He's going to pop that one up. Connor makes the catch. Connor makes the catch. One down. The pitch. He's going to smack that one up the middle right by Jeremy. That's going to be a single. Crabe's going two. Going to stay in there. He's got a double. He's got himself a double. He's going to ground that one. He's going to be safe. Oh! He's on the bag. All right, he's gonna be safe. Landon will get second. Folks, after review, based on what I've seen, he is out at third. He is out. Believe it or not, he is actually out at third base. Staying in this AB. He's a warrior in the batter's box. The full count pitch to win the game for Jeremy. He will. Skyliners win the ball game, and they win Masters Field 2023. And they're sitting real pretty going into the playoffs. They had a tough two-series stretch where they uh, went one and five, and they win this last series to put themselves in a really good position going into the playoffs. Great plays from every player all around. Good job. Good job, Connor.